World Food Day promotes worldwide awareness and action for those who suffer from hunger and for the need to ensure healthy diets for all. Hundreds of events and outreach activities bring together governments, businesses, NGOs, and the general public. To this end, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development joined forces with the Taiwan Embassy and the Feed the Poor Ministry to donate 100 prepackaged meals to the less fortunate in the Castries vicinity. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, notes that while the agriculture industry in St. Lucia is producing sufficient healthy foods to feed every St. Lucian, affordability is a major issue and has been magnified by the coronavirus pandemic. This is not a case in St. Lucia alone. It is a global problem. And this problem is one that I think we need to address as soon as possible. Because food security is one of the sustainable development goals that countries like St. Lucia sign on to. We must make efforts to ensure that every single person who exists in this country has an opportunity to be able to get at least one meal a day. The minister expressed gratitude to the government and people of Taiwan for their donation and hopes to continue collaboration with other sector agencies to recognize and address the food security problems that exist in St. Lucia. The ambassador of the Republic of China Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Cheyenne Chen, reaffirms the government of Taiwan's support as St. Lucia continues to address these issues. Over the years, the Embassy of the Republic of China Taiwan has staunchly supported agricultural cooperation with Ministry of Agriculture of St. Lucia to help enhance the food security and promote local produce, with projects such as to increase banana productivity and to improve the supply chain of fruits and vegetables. Taiwan is committed to continuously working with the government of St. Lucia to promote food security, zero hunger, local produce, and on its way to reach the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Parliamentary Representative for Castries Central, Honorable Richard Frederick, commended the CEO of Fit the Poor Ministry, Gaspar Henry, on the work he has done and continues to do for the less fortunate island-wide. He notes that initiatives such as this highlights the importance of each and every person being able to afford their basic necessities. It is the, the FAO objective food and agricultural organization objective to alleviate hunger across the globe by the year 2030. By that year, nine years from now, food should be both available and accessible to one and all. And it is not only the availability or accessibility, but the nutritional component of that exercise cannot be undermined. The government of St. Lucia's mantra, a mantra on which the people of this country voted overwhelmingly to install it, has been and will always be putting people first. As World Food Day 2021 was commemorated under the theme, Our Actions Are Our Future, Better Production, Better Nutrition, A Better Environment and A Better Life, the Ministry of Agriculture continues to encourage the public to practice more vigilance and make a conscious effort to consume healthier and safer foods. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.